right, ladies and gents, how you find folks doing? But what are we doing today? Putting a carburetor in a sediment bub on the old Ford 2000. So, uh, this is the first one we've ever put on. Put many carburetors on, but not on a Ford 2000 tractor. So, what do we got? We got on the old Ebays and uh, ordered us a new carburetor. Yeah, I should have went with Holly, blah, blah, blah. Should have went with the name brand, but hey. We're gonna, we're gonna give this a whirl for like 40 bucks so got a settlement bulb it was like 20 bucks i uh, got all the parts and pieces new gaskets that was one of the big things needed some gaskets on that carburetor that old carburetor out there she was a little worse for wear but let's get this joker on and see what happens all right so we're back after it here we'll get this carburetor off almost forgot to turn you guys on got the fuel line loosened up let's get it off and then we loosened up the settlement bulb. Let's get it off. Absolutely crazy. That's a 14 millimeter. What's a metric boat doing on this daggone 1964 tractor? But that's just part of it. All right, got the settlement bulb off. Put it there. We're going to reuse some parts off of it here in just a minute. And then I got to looking at these bolts for the carburetor we took our uh, air tube off there somebody has stripped this joker out i don't know oh it's gonna turn good deal somebody stripped this joker out so i didn't know if she'd come off or not without having to do some work to it but we'll get these two bolts off and then we'll get these linkages unhooked where we stand up then. Somebody, I don't know if you guys can see that, but somebody has wailed on this carburetor over the years. I don't know, these bolts here, they got new washers on them, so somebody's been in there messing with stuff. I said Schaefer on it. I'm not sure what brand carburetors you can get for these. Heard a couple different kind. But I know what kind we're putting on it. And that's the eBay brand. Right, cheap, and easy. And we only, only may get a few months out of it. And then again, it may stay on here the rest of this tractor's life. Who knows? All right. Let's see what we need to do to get these linkages unhooked. Easy. Might need to order some new ones of those. Hey, a little, a little war. Easy peasy. Look at that. Look how easy that thing is to. That joker is a little dirty. Holy bejeebus. A little dirty. All right, let's get in here and put our other pieces and parts on our new carburetor and see what happens. All right. So, our old settlement bub. We're going to take these. This new one did not come when any of these gaskets or washers. So we're going to rob Peter to pay Paul, and it didn't come with a new boat. Just kind of weird, my old settlement bub back in the day I put on that time come all brand spanking new. Get a little carburetor cleaner. Well, we are out of carburetor cleaner, but brake clean works just as good, doesn't it? That's a dirty joker right there. All right, new settlement bulb. Put the new washer on. Now, I may not be doing this right. No, I ain't no professional mechanic. Don't take this stuff from me. I'm just an old dumb welder. So, that being said, I'm liable to be making a mistake here and just don't know it yet. So, I gotta go out there and rub my 14 millimeters. Stand by. Good lord. I went out there and got them wrenches off the tractor. Just what the best they was out there. They are hot to trot, I'm telling you. I don't like that at all. Let me check this out. I got a plug or something in it? No. Got nothing in it. She ain't the uh, easiest threads feeling to put up in there. I'm going to have to put some ugly duggies on that. I 
I don't like that at all. That thing is not going to fit whatsoever. I don't know if the thread is messed up in there or something or what. That's crazy. I don't know. Let me do a little. Let me run a tap down here and see what's going on. All right, guys. Couldn't find the tap the right size, but uh, we'd run it down there with a couple of ugga duggas, and uh, when we we ugga dugged it just a touch, and there was like one little thread uh, messed up, and then she went on like she was supposed to. So then cleaned it once, but we're gonna clean it again just to make sure everything's gonna up and up. Get the sediment bulb bolt back in there. A uh, few inlet points uh, back here on the back side with the uh, linkages. So just keep that in mind. Let's see, I'm trying to mess around with like a dougie. Be gentle with the aluminum. No, no, no. Be gentle with the aluminum. No, no, no. 153E TSX7853129594. So, got a few numbers on there to get reference if you need to. Sediment bulb is just for a plain everyday, pretty much tracking heads. All right. Let's lock these bad boys down in there. You got coarse thread and you got fine thread. Coarse thread goes in the bottom, oh, goes in the carburetor, fine thread goes up top. Pay no attention to me. I'm in my pajamas today. I'm not feeling well. No, I don't have the coronas. I just wasn't planning on coming out here today. I'm just getting after it. All right, got cleaned up. Got to get our fuel inlet here. Here's this one. I'm not sure. It fits on a different carburetor, maybe. But I don't know yet. We'll uh, cross that bridge when we get there. Find a wrench. Get us a little. What the heck is going on with this stuff? Just a little thread tape on here. Probably going the wrong way. That's how it goes. You always go the wrong way with the thread tape. It's just par for course. If I can get my big fumble fingers to work, all right. We're running that in there with a couple of Duggas. That looks seem like it wants to fit like it's supposed to. You know, when you spend 40 bucks on a carburetor, it don't fit, technically. Just so-so sometimes. There we go. This is all the guy who was operating it. get my uh, wrench off we'll be doing okay whoa easy we'll be letting the carburetor mess up all right got our new gasket uh this is one of the big issues on the old carburetor hold on i'll just show you guys real quick i need to get a new gasket for you can tell that one there has seen her better days she's a little dirty uh, i'm sure this is like the original carburetor I am going to keep it uh, because it's original part. Maybe I'll order a rebuild kit for it, doll it up a little bit. Get it over there in my buddy's part to clean her in and do a little work. We could probably use the settlement bulb be fine. I uh, just need to order some gaskets for it, I'm sure. But it's got, like this is plastic or this one. Plastic too, but you can kind of see they're starting to crack. 
So the more you tighten them up, the worse they get. Couldn't find the glass one at the time. I could have, it was on back order. It would have been here a while, so. All right, got a gasket on there. Well, let's go out here and get this joker on, see what happens. All right, right off the get go, we're gonna get a little, a little silicone on the old rubber hose here. That over there. And we're gonna put the rubber hose on first. Hopefully this old joker, I may have to order another hose. Joker is hard as a rock. <laughs> All right, guys, back on the tractor. Uh, I had to go deliver a sign. It's terrible. Uh, it rained, come rain shower. Still see you got a little bit of water on the tractor. Uh, but yes, so this hose right here uh, for the air intake, air filter deal. Uh, this joker was as hard as a solid rubber line. I mean, this thing, it's like hard plastic. The other end, not too bad. This end is almost as hard as a table. So what did we do? We kind of redneck ingenuity it. Uh, it. I've got one on order. It's going to be a while before it gets here. Uh, but we just had an old piece of hose. Actually, it was almost a brand new radiator hose from back in the demolition derby car days. But uh, we put it on there. Going to get the carburetor bolted back up on there, get the linkages on there, get the fuel line on there, and see what happens. But yeah, little red ink ingenuity goes a long way right there. All right. Get our linkages on here. Hopefully everything works out just like it's supposed to. Push those, those on there. That one on there. Yeah, well, this is down here out of the way. We'll get this fuel line on here. Probably gonna order some new fuel line when I order that hose. We do have our shutoff valve right here, so that made it nice. Ba -ba -da -ba. Can you guess anything? Have I dropped anything down the carburetor yet that you can see? Nothing you're aware of? Oh, my other linkage come off. That got it. Squared away one of these. All right, yeah, there we go. Yeah, get the carburetor up in here. Come on, baby. I was like, Lord, thing ain't gonna fit. The studs is too big. It's thing about ordering stuff off of eBay. You never know sometimes. Send you some weird stuff from time to time. But little country me's just gotta be on a budget, so all right, we'll get them tightened up, and then we'll get this hose on here. We guess that. Alright, let's turn no fuel on, see what happens. Well, she's filling up. I haven't seen no leakage yet. Got some trash in it though. I'll clean that out real quick. Probably where I was putting that cheap old hose on there. All right, let me dump that sediment bulb out and then we'll see if we can fire it up. All right, firing the hole. Oh, I left the switch on. All right, all right, so uh, a little while later, I've had the battery charger on the old Ford 2000, done went and mowed the grass, mowed the front yard, mowed the backyard, mowed the side yard, and it's just about to get dark on us. So, it says we had 96%. Let's see if she'll start. Oh, flip 
the switch over here that I left on. Come on, baby. Well, would you look at there? Joker fired right up. Probably sit here long enough to get some gas in that carburetor bowl, so. Let's give her a little throttle. Take it for a spin. All right, so she is sitting there and I was like a champ. Let's see. So we're gonna stop the video for here tonight. Uh, we're gonna do a few more things on the tractor. I'll include them in this video, hopefully, hopefully. Uh, probably gonna drain the fuel tank, change the oil. Uh, we're gonna check out the uh, PTO and everything, make sure everything's good to go with it. Check the hydraulics on it. Uh, if we run into anything worth taping or whatever, we'll get you guys uh, on here and get you informed. But yeah, eBay carburetor for right now is a win. Let's hope it stays that way. You know, heck, I could buy carburetor every couple of years for that price. I mean, holy cow, that was ridiculously cheap. Didn't test tune nothing on it yet. We'll give her a little time and see what happens, but I think it's gonna work out pretty good.